There are many concerns about infectious and contagious diseases such as the Ebola virus and what the military is doing to keep our service members safe. United States Transportation Command is implementing the use of Transport Isolation Systems, or TIS, to safely transport infected patients inside of air mobility aircraft. It's an enclosure that we had developed for transporting numerous infectious patients. So uh, we developed it for multiple uh, disease vectors. So let's say we have patients that are, are worse off and we need more litters. We could put more litters into the system and have litters on both sides, and we could have litters in both modules. The Defense Threat Reduction Agency developed this system to protect the aircraft and air crew from diseases and to isolate the infectious patients. The TIS has a disposable liner, an air filtration system, and various ports for medical staff to run sensor cables and oxygen lines to the patient. We have an obligation when we put members of our military or of our federal government into harm's way anywhere on the planet that we're able to bring them home in the hands of medical technicians that can provide definitive medical care if they're injured in the pursuit of whatever the mission is. We don't ask our people to go, we order them to go. So part of our obligation in giving that order is that we will take care of them. And so as the Commander of the United States Transportation Command, one of my missions is to manage the global air medical evacuation system that takes care of that promise to get them home if they get hurt. Production Products Incorporated will build 25 transport isolation systems and they are designed to fit into several AMC aircraft. The first three units were sent to Charleston Air Force Base for training and other units will be delivered based on ongoing world events. Senior Airman Timothy Kirshner, Scott Air Force Base, Illinois.